Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get the best IPTV player to your Fire Stick or Android TV. The majority of IPTV players honestly suck. They buffer, lag, or do not work properly. So today I'll show you how to get an IPTV player called TVMate to your Fire Stick. It's an amazing and totally free IPTV player which works with majority of live TV providers. So now, without any further ado, let me show you how to get that app to your device. First of all, we'll need to get an app called Unloader. You can actually get it totally for free from the official Amazon App Store. To do so, just go to search on your device and there in the search bar, of course, start entering the Unloader. And as you can see, the Unloader has already popped out for us at the bottom. So we click on it and that's the app which you need to get to your device. But after you get the Unloader, it's not over yet. We still need to set it up. So, in order to actually set up the loader, we'll go to the settings by clicking on that button with the gear icon, then scroll down and go to My Far TV. Open it, and from here, we'll have to enable developer options on your device. But on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire Stick devices, the developer options can be hidden by default. So, if that's the case, and you cannot find developer options anywhere, no need to worry, it's actually easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you'll have to click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times. And do it fast, so let's do it. And now, as you can see, for me at the bottom it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. And in your case it's going to say that you have become a developer now. So if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which have appeared right here. So we open them, make sure to turn on the 8B debugging, then you gotta go to install unknown apps, from here you just locate the loader and turn that option on. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps which are only available in the official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now, finally, we gotta go to the list of apps on your device, which is right here, we open it, and here you'll find the downloader, which is set up and ready to use on your device. But before actually using the downloader, there's one more thing which I always recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN. Because they're super fast, they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use and they are not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us and the users. In the VPN app, we just connect to any server, let's say I will connect to France right now, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means no one can track you or snoop on you online, and that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below the video, or in the description of the video, you'll get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN, with 3 months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on your screen right now, with the camera of your phone. It works the same way, and it's also going to give you the same deal for Nord. And now, finally, let's use the loader safely. So we gotta go to the list of apps on your device and start up the downloader application. Then, of course, wait until it loads for you. And after that, on the left side menu, make sure to click on Home and not on Browser. So once again, make sure that you have clicked on Home. And then here in that search bar, we'll need to enter a link, which is going to be tvmate.com. So let's enter it together. Once again, it's going to be tvmate.com. Here you go, here's the link, you can see it on your screen right now. So make sure to enter it exactly as you see, and do not make any mistakes. Because obviously, if you make a mistake, then the code is not going to work. After that, you have to click on Go, 
and while the website is loading, make sure to subscribe my channel so you would get even more content about flower sticks. As well as please hit the like button below this video. It really helps me a lot and this way I'll be able to create even more videos for you. Now, after the website has opened, you just go down a bit until you find the download now section. And from here, we gotta click on download APK button. So we click on that button and now in a couple of moments, the download is going to start. Usually it doesn't take long. Then you have to click on install and wait until TVMate application gets installed to your Fire Stick or Android TV device, depending on what kind of device you're using. And after that, don't click on open yet, instead press on done, because this way we'll be able to delete the installation files, as we don't need them anymore on our device. So click on delete and then delete once again. This way you get rid of unnecessary files from your Fire Stick and save yourself some free space on your device. And that's really important, because you don't have too much of free space on your Fire Stick anyway. So now, finally, we gotta go to the list of apps on your device, which is right here, we open it, wait until it loads for you, and then there, at the bottom, at the bottom you'll find the TVMate application, which we just installed. Now, I would recommend you to click on the Options button on your remote, that's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it and then press on Move to Front. This way, TVMate is always going to be at the very top of your application list and therefore it's going to be super easy for you to access the app every time needed. Just don't forget to keep the VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble. Then we gotta open the TVMate application and wait until it loads for you. Then what you gotta do is click on the Add Playlist button and from here, there are basically two main ways to watch IPTV. It totally depends on what IPTV provider you are using and what playlists they are giving to you. And there are thousands of different live TV providers in the world, so it's totally up to you which one to choose. So if your provider gave you an M3U link, in that case, you would need to click on M3U playlist from here, enter the link in that bar there, and after that, you have to click on next to enter the playlist and save it on your application. But alternatively, it's also possible that your provider may give you an extreme code. It's possible to use those kind of codes in the TVMate as well. You would just need to click on that option from here, add the server address, then a username and a password. After that, you click on next, and then the playlist is going to appear in your application right there. So that's it, today you learned how to get the best IP2 player for your Fire Stick, as well as how to set it up on your device. Enjoy and see you next time. Bye-bye.